High Q, season two finale. Yeah, I want to see this again. Watch this a hundred times. All that water bottle practice paying off. And this My Hero Academia music. <laughs> he saw it too, but the tip threw him off. Some crazy vision. And then I just saw how that was going to play out. Looking at his hand again. And now you get to stay on the court, your dream. And so does Daichi and the other third years. Remember when they were considering not coming back for this tournament? Screw college. <laughs> Who cares about university? Will university give you this kind of glory? No, never. In fact, you can just drop out of education completely. Uh-oh. <laughs> he's, he's not wrong. He's not wrong. That's some real respect right there. Classy. He kept it classy. I like that. That was awesome. We've seen him get a little bit petty at times, but I don't know. That match is too much. I don't think you end that game not having respect for each other if you're centered as a person. There's something about battling someone that can bond you, depending on the circumstances. If you can battle in a way that's non-destructive and you can get up and shake each other's hands at the end, you're brothers, in my experience. Episode 25, Declaration of War. This is not the end of the tournament, though. I mean, it feels like we win it all. <laughs> Just the emotional stakes from facing Abu Josai. He was moving that way. Right, 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 right. Yeah. It's tough. It's tough to get. Tip changes everything. Did a great job. You played a great game. Everyone. For sure. It's gonna sting. Nothing you can do to remove this thing. Yeah, it's easy to go searching for failure in this moment, but big picture there is no failure. <laughs> They're all smiles, as they should be. I mean, they had their turn. They had their turn crying into ramen, or whatever it was. I know both sides. I wasn't crying, I was washing the sweat off my face. You're crying. Keep it classy. But he's not here to see that, man. Winners and losers. Yo, for real? Tanaka was like, was he not the MVP? So many huge plays. It all paid off. It was amazing. Yeah, it was very deliberate. It's poetically beautiful. Came full circle. Also true. I feel like this conversation has to happen. They, they gotta have an interaction with, uh, with Okawa. Oh, <laughs> that's not what I was expecting. What was he saying about Oikawa being the better one? What? Oh, he's talking about joining his team. Watch season three be just like a 10 episode final battle. <laughs> I mean, they're the juggernauts in this high school volleyball world. This is making Oikawa that much cooler. The murder of crows? It might. It might. Feels like a long shot, but it might. At least I get a day off. I get to go home and rest. Oh yeah, only they heard this speech. He riled them up. I remember. Finals, damn, we're so close, but also feels so far. That was a great scene from Oikawa. I think it's been well established that as much as he wants to win, that's not his highest priority. And I've very frequently in this season mentioned the idea of like there being multiple games. You don't even have to think that outside the box for that to be true for, for Oikawa just because he can play in college, right? And there's a professional volleyball league. He could very well become the greatest volleyball player and win championships at the highest level. And this would all just be progress towards that goal. You never know. I mean, he has the talent, he has the drive, he has the intelligence. Can we afford a bus driver yet? Now that we have gotten this far in the tournament, can we get a sponsor to hire a driver? 
He's also been one of the biggest believers, always bringing the inspiration when they need it most. And that practice session ended up being so, so clutch, so crucial. Oh, it's huge. Not to mention all those hill sprints. Those wonderful, refreshing hill sprints. Good, I'm glad he gets recognized. Hey, look who has female fans. Maybe you can make it to our next game. I almost died, scared everyone to death, and I shook it off and won the semifinals like a boss. Alright, come to our next game then! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> These front runners. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Get a cheer going, get a all going or something for serves. We better all be there. The what now? Oh, we're on TV again? Ultimate reward, television. Maybe this time we'll actually get coverage. Maybe they'll actually show our faces. Watch them focus just on Okawa. There we are. There they are. Look at them. They look great. Surprised to you. I believe the whole time. I called it. <laughs> they are focusing on Okawa. <laughs> oh man, they just love him. Camera just loves... Oikawa. Three years in a row is crazy. Wasn't as much of a blood as it usually is. Definitely underdogs here. What's the plan? What do we do differently? Or do we just stick to our guns? Yeah, we struggled with Josai. Oh, great. Oh, great. <laughs> we need this right now. Need this energy. Doesn't hurt to believe it. Anything can happen in one game at this level of ability. <laughs> He's so much better at this than Ukai. How do you sleep? How do you even sleep in a moment like this? Tough. But Hinata wants to stay in practice. <laughs> I knew it. Hinata being Hinata, as always. Oh, she stuck around. That's sweet. It's not like they'd be sleeping anyway. Yeah, they'd just be rolling around in bed, agonizing. You only get so many finals, right? Still got yes! it. This full circle. The start of the season was them like doing this with Yachi and just failing and failing and failing. This is a victory lap. And so they played until 6 a.m. I need sleep for God's sake. The fight? I remember the fight. Yep. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Full circle. I remember Hinata crying on his bicycle. It was sad. It was sad. It's a good moment, but it was sad. She's trying to bring a positive spin on this. We're still on this townsperson, townsperson B thing? What do you think we're doing? <laughs> She's not wrong. Nah, she gets it. She's a veteran. She's been through it. And so they continued playing until 6 a.m. Her trying to call attention to their fight at the start of the season makes a lot of sense to me, even if I don't think they can see it fully. That was the gamble they took. It feels almost obvious now because this is just their new normal, their new level. But they took a huge risk giving up what felt comfortable for them, giving up what they had practiced so much, the tools that they relied on to function and win at all for the promise of something better. That fight that they had was the culmination of their anxiety, their stress, their pain of losing the tournament, their lack of guarantee that anything they did would make any difference. But they chose that darkness, you know, they chose to live in that void and power through it. And yeah, they had a, a fight in the middle of it. But they also got their act together and they're now bearing the fruits of it. I bring it up because I think it's easy to miss because the state you're at feels just normal. It just feels like where you are. And one of the unfortunate things I think about the human psyche is that even the things you do really well, you know, the blessings that you yourself create, you know, handcraft with your own sweat and blood and tears has a way of losing 
losing its punch really quickly once you get there and you, you determine that as your your new normal. So I think that the reward mechanism, like looking back like, wow, you're right, we risked it all and it paid off is good to focus on because it's a model. It's a model for how they can continue to grow. Very few people, I would argue, are willing to continue to enter that void. Usually once it hits a point where it's remotely viable or satisfying enough, that's the end of the progress. But they just have their sights set so high, they're able to keep plunging themselves into the darkness and finding light. He's taking it in. <laughs> hey, <laughs> nice. Matching his energy in a very Kagama way. Aw, wow. What a season. Are we gonna get some kind of flashback montage? The show's earned it. No, but we do get an epilogue. This time, no tears. So season three is gonna be this game, at least in part. Interesting. Definitely has a presence. Now nah, we got history. We got beef. He's watching them though. I think this excites him. This is what he wants. He's not as much of a jerk as he initially appears. He's just a zealot. He's a volleyball zealot. You gotta wait till next season, Hinata. <laughs> I feel bad for anyone who had to wait in between seasons. You gotta win to keep playing. If you wanna stay on the court. Wow, the ending sequences between season one and season two are so night and day. One is crying into our food, the other is we're gonna win against the greatest team in our region, I guess. Maybe in all of the wide world of high school volleyball in Japan. So with season two complete, I gotta say, I think it was more enjoyable for me overall than season one. Season one was great, laid a lot of the groundwork for the characters, did so amazingly well, given the just the huge amount of people I had to introduce. But season two, I think, had the benefit of having that already established. And so you get to see the, the kids really come into themselves and start to really shine, not just as individuals, but as a group and, you know, all their interrelationships. I think it was such a great choice, as I've talked about before, to have them not just go forward. Like, I think the easy path for this show in writing would have been, all right, we lost, train harder, right? Rather than go that that route, they went backwards. You know, they lost everything for a little while. They had to give up what they knew, the things that they felt most confident in, in order to break through a plateau that they could clearly feel. Not only did that create excellent stakes, but I think it felt right to me. And I think was the tougher and more mature choice from the characters. With them having gone through that journey and also picking up pieces from everyone they met along the way, the final match against Awa Josai was made all the more satisfying. And not just because of the victory, right? It's because you can see in real time the effects of what they're doing in a way that feels both real, realistic, and inspiring. The addition of Yachi also was really nice, as well as a few other side characters that I think just kind of gave the whole thing a different life, made the cast feel richer, and overall it was just a lot of fun. Really pleased that the season ended with Karasuna's victory, because that means we potentially get a whole season, or 10 episodes, or you know, some portion of that, to this finals game, which I, I'm... It's hard for me to predict what will happen. I don't see Karasuno winning. I think this might be one of those things where they get exactly what they need from the match. Where they win in a certain key sense that is relevant to them and their growth, but not necessarily the match itself. But as has been discussed by Okawa and by myself eight million times at this point, many games. I feel even if they lose, there was something very critical and emotionally poignant about the Alba Josai victory because of what happened to them in the finals last time. I think even without a finals win, I'm still going to be satisfied on some level with their performance in this series of games, even considering it might be the seniors last run. There's nothing to be ashamed of. All I have right now for them is, is pride and it does feel like a victory has been achieved. And there's always university, you know, if they so desire. There's always pro volleyball not just in japan but in the world right i mean you figure volleyball is worldwide so i'm very curious to see what exactly the match will bring out of them and what will be the next step for this carson team as well as the players who graduate and move on with their lives okay.